Redditors who have actually won a lifetime supply of something. What was the supply you won and how long did it actually last? Won a lifetime supply of many chocolate milk cartons during a milk day at school lol if you opened a carton of milk and it mooed at you. You had to call the number on it and report that you have mooing milk. That was in 2007. I'm still getting milk shipped to me lol my fiancé drinks it because I've grown to hate milk. When a new tropical smoothie cafe location opened in our neighborhood, they ran a promotion for free smoothies for a year for the first 50 people in line on opening day. My husband made me stand in line for 3 hours before they opened. We were 24th and 25th in line. The free smoothies for a year was limited to one smoothie per week. Still, we each had 52 free smoothies. Not a bad deal. 18 years ago we won a lifetime of vet visits for my cat. They expected to give it to someone with an old pet, not a new kitten. The cat's still alive. The vet clinic has moved and rebranded 4 or 5 times, but they're still honoring the award. Edit lifetime of routine checkups. Treatments and operations still have to be covered by us. Not me but a couple years ago my friend won Cedar Point's amusement park Halloween and costume contest and received a lifelong annual pass. It's a special gold colored pass and comes with a bunch of other perks. I'm very jealous. I won two tickets to every event at a theater near me for a whole year. I probably saw 15 concerts and 20 comedy shows that year. I was offering tickets to my friends all the time. I use them to impress my now girlfriend by taking her out all the time. Lol. That was a fun year. My mom almost ate the white MM that they promoted like 25 years ago if you find it, send it in, you get a lifetime supply of MMs. They sent us a voucher pack, that almost no store would take, but still managed to make it to the lifetime supply in about one month granted there was 8 siblings, prob for the best though. My dad won a lifetime supply of cat food, but hey they delivered it all at once. And be our cats didn't like that flavor of course. We donated it all to a local animal shelter so we're super pleased. I didn't really win it and it was only a year's supply. But I got a year's supply of Hot Pockets when I was 17 because I bit into a Hot Pocket that had no filling and I sent them an email pretending to be my mom complaining about it. To my surprise they actually replied and sent me a golden coupon that was good for a year. I ate so many Hot Pockets that I hate them now and haven't had one since. I once waited out at McDonald's for the grand opening. The first 100 people got free fries for the year. I was 3. It consisted of a box of 365 coupons for free medium fry. I think we gave away maybe 200 of them. It was maybe 13-14 years ago now. My mother bought a Toyota Yaris years ago and the dealership was running a tires for life promotion. She gets free tires whenever she needs them, but she has to do all of her maintenance work at the dealership, and the deal won't transfer if she sells a title. The dealership didn't run the promo for long, and she was told recently she's the only participant left from the promotion. I know someone who won a free gas for life contest many years ago. They get a $100 gift card every month. I had a friend in college who won a lifetime supply of Gillette razors. They just sent him a creative Mach 3 razors and refill cartridges and that was that. It was just one time shipment but it would be hard to get through that many razors in one lifetime. My parents won a lifetime supply of toiletries, soap, toilet tissue, and some other stuff. Once per quarter, you mail in the coupon and they send you another quarter's worth of stuff. It's all institutional grade. Like what you'd expect prisoners to use. I won a year's worth of tombstone pizza from a Coca-Cola bottle cap thing as a kid. They sent 52 coupons to use at the grocery store for a free pizza. I won a cash for life $1000 a week lottery about 10 years ago. Every year I send them proof I'm still alive, and they send me a check for $52,000 in the mail. I won a year's worth of coffee at Dunkin Donuts. They gave me a coupon book with 4 coupons per month for 12 months. I won a year supply of Pepperidge Farm Milanos when I was in college. My BF and I ate them all in like 3 months. 3 glorious months. I won a lifetime supply of printer paper from a Canadian retailer based on an internet contest with the purchase of a Konica Minolta. I won, and I realized quickly that I don't need that much paper. They were sending me 2 reams a month. I moved, and never updated my shipping address. So someone out there is getting free paper. I once won a year's supply of Pepsi from a local radio station. The contest was finding specific serial numbers on a dollar bill and being the first to call into the station. The year's supply was a case. We won a lifetime supply of hate. My wife won $10,000 on Roll Up the Ring with Tim Hortons. She was super excited. 
She spoke on the phone with Tim Hortons, they said everything sounds good, congrats you will get an email confirmation soon. Instead we got an email saying they had a technical issue and wouldn't be honoring her win. Needless to say we have a lifetime supply of hate for them now. Won a year's worth of movies from 7-Eleven when they did a MCDS Monopoly style contest back in the early 2010s. They sent me $1,300 in gift cards for Cineplex when movies were $13 for a ticket. So a couple could go once a week. With points cards and club memberships I milked those gift cards for three years. To be fair though. There aren't 50 movies a year I want to see in a theater. I want a year of free pizza. It was 12 pizzas, one per month. I definitely still was thankful for it because it was a blessing whenever we were having money problems. My stepdad won a lifetime supply of WD-40 in the 1990s. They sent him four 16 ounces cans. He died in 2019. My mom still has two cans. I won free groceries for life at my local grocery store in a raffle. They give me a digital $100 gift card once a month, which is wonderful, however it doesn't even cover a week of groceries. It will end when the total given has reached $10,000. I've got about $4,000 left. As a consolation prize for losing on a TV game show I was given a popcorn popper, a little girl's bicycle and a lifetime supply of Dindy Moore beef stew. I gave the popcorn popper as a Christmas present and sold the bicycle. When the beef stew arrived it was one case of 12 cans. After trying the first can I realized that the other 11 would indeed last me a lifetime. I won a lifetime supply of Cheerwine local cherry soda from a kid's TV channel when I was 11. They brought two pallets of soda and unloaded it in my parents' garage and it we still had some in the garage when we were moving out. Lifetime free oil changes when I bought my car. When they sold the dealership the new owners didn't honor that. Not exactly lifetime but I once won a 5,000 euros one year voucher at a pizza place and it lasted a year. I spent the last 75 euros on the very last day. Not a lifetime, but I won a year's supply of beer once. Turns out it was 12 cases. I felt like that was fair. I didn't win per se, but new hire at a chain coffee shop gave me 3 million reward points rather than the 300 I was supposed to get for buying $300 worth of gift cards Christmas gifts for mailman, Amazon drivers etc. I tried to get the kid to fix it but he said don't worry about it. Still getting free drinks and pastries as often as I want and haven't even been to that number. I got free multi-room DVR and HBO for life from my cable company. Little did I know that any little change including replacing an 8 year old broken router would remove it from my account and make it impossible to add back. Fuck Time Warner and their fucked up businesses practices. When I was in high school, my teacher won a lifetime supply of DNL it was a 7up flavor back in the early 2000s it amounted to like 10 cases of soda. I was on a game show in 2003 and won a year's worth of Domino's pizza. It turned out to be $250 in vouchers. I was in college and me and my friends burned through most of it on April 20th. I bought a lifetime subscription to Rolling Stone magazine for my husband for $99. I think the fine print said up to 60 years or something like that. It has been 15 years and still getting them. I won a year supply of Red Bull. They shipped me around 200 Red Bulls all at once. I threw a party and finished them all that night. I know it's not winning but in the early 80s my dad got a lifetime subscription to National Geographic that he still gets to this day. I had a lifetime gym membership that ended after 2 years. I thought it meant my lifetime not theirs. In high school I won free wings for a year from Buffalo Wild Wings with a group of up being coupon books of 52 coupons, each valid for one week out of the year, good for 6 wings each. Each week we would go and get our 6 free wings and waters, tip the wait staff, and bounce. I clicked on one of those ads in the old internet circa 2000 and filled out a survey during computer class in the 6th grade. Now every month since then I've received 31 snack-sized Cheetos bags in a box straight from Frito-Lay. I got 2 weeks suspension for clicking it. Worth it, fuck authority. At age 14 I won a lifetime subscription to Rolling Stone magazine in a radio contest. That was 1993. The latest edition arrived just last week. That magazine has followed me through high school, college, marriage, divorce, the birth of my kid, and all through the present day. From Britney to Cardi B. I sometimes wonder which will last longer near Rolling Stone. I was given a lifetime premiere membership to Bally's Fitness Clubs in 1993-ish. My boss purchased it in the 1980s for several thousand dollars, and transferred it to me as a bonus. So not technically winning? They honored the membership until roughly 2001. 
Then they started charging me annual dues again. Not one but I got for free when a company went belly up near me. Staples, 5,000 in each box and I have more than 10 boxes. So 50,000 staples. I won a year's worth of chicken from a Lebanese chicken shop. I was licking my lips at the thought of free chicken for a year especially drown in enough garlic dip to ward off Dracula himself. Reading the fine print though it was only $20 a week for 52 weeks. You could drop $30 40 for one person, easy, in a city. I want a lifetime supply of cat food. My cat died a week before the drawing, so they cut me a check for $2000 instead. I want a year of free movies at the local movie theater, one a day. The contest was a Nintendo 64 Star Wars pod racing tournament and I also destroyed the tourney director and Goldeneye. He also gave me free tickets to E3 in LA. Edit the car in question lol. I want a brand new car with a free lottery ticket. It was only for 10.000 kilometers or one year had to drive with massive ad on the car, like diamond pattern pink and purple. Gas was free though, thumbs up. Gave it to my now wife, cause it was way out of my comfort zone. Car was a 2020 Citroen C3 Cactus Edition, won a lifetime supply of monster energy drinks. They eventually stopped answering my calls and blocked me after months of saying they should be shipped out soon. Never even got one drink. Back in good old 1995, I won a year's worth of tacos from Taco Bell for winning one of those stupid bar games. They ended up sending me a check for $200. I think I did the math at some point and it equaled out to a taco a day for a year.